Good afternoon, oh. friends. Uh, today we have Dr. Anul Kapoor, who's flown in from Canada to India. Yes. And uh, he has been in India, and then he went to Russia, and then he went to Canada. And as he says, he's the turban cardiologist. Yeah, first turban cardiologist. First turban cardiologist. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. a great proud moment for us. Yeah, thank that, uh, you. That despite his uh, being across the seas, yeah. that he you know, still continues to wear the turban. Thank you, thank you. So that's a very welcome thing. And you're welcome to India, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, we'd like to hear from you about your journey. So you would like to tell something about your medical background and then you would you to move to the next part for the movies. Well, I'm uh, born, born and brought up in uh, Punjab, uh, in District Patiala. Yes. And I did my high school uh, in India. Uh, and after that, I went to the medical school in Russia. Uh, from there, I ended up moving to Canada. Uh, we had to do further training in doing internal medicine and cardiology. So, and then we started to work there uh, as a cardiologist. At the same time, we um, founded a few uh, social initiatives to help people out, to raise awareness about various health issues or disparities, various minorities they have in, in the developed countries. So it's like you, they were dealing with the challenges of developing world in the developed country here uh, and try to raise awareness and see how we can help the patient population. Uh, and then from there, I realized that there's another better way to uh, educate masses. Uh, so movie was one of those hobbies. Right. I ended up so you in. ended up making Fulu. Yes, Fulu was our first Hindi movie. This was with menstrual hygiene. Exactly, it? exactly. So, so how did that thought occur to you? How did it, uh, well, what did you think of this? I was inspired by many um, heroes from oh, India. Right. Who've been working did you see uh, Akshay Kumar's movie, The Padman? Uh, later on. Later on. Because okay. Before you made the Fulu. Exactly. Fulu was the first year. movie ever yes. made in the world. Yes. Uh, and Padman became the second movie. Right. Uh, to uh, tackle the same issues, uh, Padman has a bigger budget. Uh, and our main goal was to raise awareness about this topic and break the taboo. Uh, so it was a challenge for us, it wasn't easy, because uh, it's a very odd topic to make a movie. And yes. being a first Bollywood movie on a venture in, uh, people want to run away. They want a more safe movie, but we picked right. up the most so dangerous this was, topic. was it in English? In a Hindi movie. It's a Hindi, it's a Hindi, Hindi movie. It's on right. Netflix, and it's done in English? Is it dubbed yeah, in English? English? Yeah. All right. And uh, now you have to like telecast it. Where was the premiere held? Uh, it was held in Bombay. In Bombay, yeah, all right. Yeah. So it was in uh, 2017. Okay, you want to talk something about the stars? Who are the stars? Yeah, it's Shahrukh Hashmi. He's a national um, award, Indian national award right. uh, uh, actor yes. who uh, got national award for film and star movie. And Inamul Haq, who's another oh, right. award winning actor. And we had a lot of uh, other stage artists from Delhi uh, who helped out to uh, uh, make this amazing. Uh, all right. And who were the role in the female? Like playing the female. Uh, her, name was, her name is uh, Jyoti Sethi. Oh, so she does her first movie. She used to do in the ads. Uh, so so then, uh, if we don't have a female in that movie, exactly. we cannot have that. Exactly. So we can move exactly. ahead. Yeah. Okay. And then first, we, we, wanted, we wanted to show uh, the real India, the roots of India. Oh, right. uh, so where did you shoot this movie? It was shot in uh, near Mathura, okay. uh, in UP, and we went oh, to a small right. village. Uh, and the whole movie was shot there to showcase raw and real India, not the whole Bollywood India, yes. which we paint a picture. Very good. So you would be having a lot of people who would like see it as a documentary as well. Exactly, exactly. Yes. They, they, can walk, they can walk through the, the India. Research the students space. could take up one. They yes, know, yeah, they could just follow the and people have taken that. Because after yes. that movie came out, the awareness it raised, uh, it ended up breaking lots of barriers in India. Right. And also in Canada too. So people start talking about it. They felt comfortable. When we talk about menstrual hygiene, yeah. so India and we talk about Europe and then the West. Yeah. You know, primarily we're talking about Canada or US. Yeah. So how do you uh, differentiate these four places in terms of women menstrual hygiene? Well, uh, you being a doctor, you know. Well, uh, in a way you can differentiate that there's more awareness in the more Western part of the world. Uh, they do start early on in school. In a school, they do provide support and counseling and education. Right. Uh, so they, there's an equality there. Uh, oh, right. But yes. in India... Uh, that, we, that is missing. That is missing. And we try to shun it. And we, yes. because of uh, lack of awareness, uh, we end up creating lots of myths which uh, are dangerous and yes. sometimes harmful to the woman. Right. Uh, and they have to follow through certain rituals which are not healthy. Uh, that creates a more underlying mental health issues in women, yes. uh, low self-esteem, uh, they can't seek help, there's no social support for, uh, around it. Right. So it becomes very difficult and plus you now compound that as a poverty, being a poor person. 
Yes. So they can afford those things. They don't have access to that. We have a lot of, uh, in India, uh, a lot of awareness has been built around this. The MNCs companies, you know, I'm not naming anybody as particular. So in India, the various chambers, you know, like CII, FICI, the Chamber of Commerce, and in team with the women of India, we have Dr. Depali Bhargava, I was mentioning. So a lot of people, they've gone raise raised this awareness. There's some women who've made these uh, movies, uh, and they're like Oscar awards. Then when we talk about napkins, so we have uh, the ones which are used, single use, then we have reusable. Mm. Might be yeah, yeah. And then we have the biodegradable. Yes. So I want you to dwell on the subject of uh, biodegradable. Yep. And uh, if you could talk about that. Well, it, it is a high, every woman needs it, right? So in fact, it is one of the most holistic and most, most pure thing happening in human life. Yes. Because life starts from there. Right. Uh, life starts from menstrual period. Yes. Uh, and then everything happens. We come from there, right? Exactly. Uh, and yes, there is a need for that. And the recyclable, washable, um, uh, uh, sanitary pads were made. Yes. Uh, but the challenge became how to dispose that. That itself became a health hazard. As we, people don't have access, like you can, country like India, poor country, uh, to how to discard um, those napkins in a safe manner. So Who's the way? Sure. How do they do it in say, Canada? Well, there is How a. You dispose? You have. Uh, well, there is always a, a way to dis uh, discard uh, anything that's blood related or anything right. like that. Yes. So the wet. It would come in the wet category. Uh, well, uh, like in India, we have the green and the red and the. No, it goes, no, it, well, it still goes in a garbage, but then it's the garbage, but it's, it's properly disposed of. Yes. Right? Uh, as compared to India, usually there's no recycle. There's no right. proper disposal of garbage. We usually in Delhi, I was driving in and I saw people burning. Ooh. Sometimes, right? Yes, yes. I uh, used to, but uh, it's becoming a little less now. Uh, and uh, then, uh, but then what people just throw it on the street. So yes. that's not the right way to do it. Exactly. Because then so the street dogs or somebody no, 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 people. picks it up and it's get infection. Yeah. Exactly. This is blood, yes. this is infection, exactly. something can get bad. Yes. Yeah. So, so I think we need to provide that support. That creates shaming. Right. So that yes. creates uh, insecurity. Uh, so that's why this biodegradable uh, path, they were... Uh, Are you also coming from the West? I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. In India, it's uh, yeah, India is, uh, something very upmarket yes. and it's available. Oh. And uh, means even the price is very reasonable. I mean, if you talk in terms of dollars, US dollars, so for one dollar you could get ten. Oh, wow. And these people are making it cheaper, you know. Oh, that's so we have these, uh, what is called the cottage industries who are setting up it in India. Because of awareness, right? Now yes. people are realizing that there is a problem yes. and they're trying to find a solution. Right. Which is such amazing. Right. We'd like to talk to you, uh, lastly, about your future plans. What are the plans for 2020 and beyond? Well, uh, plans are, uh, we all make plans, but we don't know if they can be able to execute it uh, sometimes. So we do have a biotechnology company. We are going to disrupt how uh, biomedical devices are doing uh, okay. work. Great. Uh, and uh, there will be a day. So Where is this company based in Canada. in Canada. So there will be a day in a few days where you'll be able to check your blood sugar at home. You should be able to check your heart pump function. You should be able to KFT, check your... you're talking about the kidney function test. Uh, kidney function creatinine. That's going to be quite a leap. Yeah, at home. You can check creatinine yes. anytime. Just imagine that. So we have the technology. We're going to launch that soon. Uh, and on the filmmaking side, we do have one movie coming out in, in the summer this year. All right. Uh, What's the topic you want to share? Well, uh, it's a... It's a it's, you know, it's, it's, again, it's a message. But it's more commercial movie. More commercial. So I'll let that time come in. Fine. Just so we wait for that. Time. Exactly. So the viewers should, I think, uh, wait for you and they should, uh, you know, gradually I exactly. think, go for your the older movie yes. and then stay connected with you. Exactly. And anything you want to speak in terms of cardiology, mm -hmm. like uh, were you inspired by, say, Dr. Christian Barnard? Well, I've been inspired with many leaders like that, and they they're amazing. That is work. what I read when exactly. you were in school. Yes, it is. And so then the first they, heart tra transplant. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it, all, there's so many leaders who played help advance cardiac sciences, and we know the South Asian community. One message I want to give to your interview is: South Asian community is three to five times higher risk for heart attack than any other community. Why home. is it so? Uh, because of genetic reasons, okay. lack of exercise. Uh, and uh, diet, obesity, uh, obesity, abnormal okay. obesity, huge, yes. uh, and not uh, eating more uh, whole grain, whole food diet. Uh, we have a lot of fat, a lot of carb uh, intake, uh, and lack of exercise contributing to that. Uh, so we need to do a lot of work. A lot of research needs to be done. Right. And how do? Uh, lastly, means we'll just close yes. it now. 
So uh, we want your uh, tips on how to prevent a heart attack. And what's Looking the first the step, you know, if okay. somebody is uh, suddenly, how do you identify to speak on? Well, it's hard to say how you can prevent a heart attack, but you can reduce a chance for a heart attack. A uh, heart attack is a cardiac event that happens when there's injury in your artery. When the injury happens, there is a clot formation. That clot formation uh, stops the blood supply, and we call a heart attack. So it's uh, lack of oxygen? Well, that point? Be because the blood supply is yes. stopped. It's right. like someone has a field of crop, and the water supply stops there, and the crop will die. Yes. Exactly the same thing happens. The clot stops the blood supply. Uh, and how to prevent is making sure you have less blockages, okay. uh, and making sure that you exercise on a regular basis. Uh, making sure you have a healthy weight uh, and making sure you reduce your salt intake. The, salt intake. the more salt you're eating, the more high blood pressure you have. And the so, more what is the alternative for a salt diet? Uh, you just minimize you might have a salt free diet or something. There's no need to have a salt, just minimize your salt less than salt two right. grams in okay. 24 hours. So, in minimum. particular, like in India, we have the rock salt. Oh, yeah. Salt is a salt. You, so can, you can have a Bharat petroleum, you can have a Hindu okay. so petroleum, it's all right. it's the or Petro Canada is all the same. It's what the same. Gas is a gas. Yeah, okay. you can have a black salt, you can have a white salt, salt right. salt. right. So we, we'll, I think, ended up saying that uh, everybody should take care yes. of their heart. Definitely. And we have this uh, person who's a proud Canadian and Indian yes. first. Of course, definitely. Yes. So I'm we, Indian Canadian. Indian Canadian, exactly. So uh, we wish you, and I think Indian Canadian Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Uh, you mean uh, when you get into the film world? Yes. So they also do a bit. Yes. You must be exhibiting to them. Yes, definitely. So we wish you all the best. Thank you. And uh, I think uh, this was a nice visit to India. Yes. So we wish you a happy journey back home. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Wow. Sanjay Agarwal with Dr. Anmol Kapoor. Thank you.